Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So in this part, we are going to import our asset in Unreal Engine 5 and create a material for this. So we have a basic scene here. We have a directional light and exponential height fog, a post process volume, sky atmosphere, sky light and volumetric cloud. If you want a tutorial on how to set up this, then I'll drop a link in the description. You can check out my Unreal Engine series and I've explained everything, how all these actors work. So let's import our model. So before importing a model, we are going to go in the Substance Painter and we are going to export our textures for Unreal Engine. So we can use the textures we exported in the last video, but for Unreal Engine, we are going to export a packed texture map. So let's select our folder and I'm going to export here in this folder textures Unreal Engine 5. And I'm going to go in my outlet template and just scroll down and select this uh, Unreal Engine 4 packed. And I'm going to take the size 4K and just leave the rest of the settings to default and hit export. So our textures are exported. Let's close this. And move to the folder where we have our asset. So I have this globe OBJ. So let's select this and drop it in Unreal Engine 5. And uh, in this material section, just uh, set it to do not create material. We're going to create our own material. So I didn't set up my Maya unit according to Unreal Engine. So my mesh is going to be a little bit uh, lower in scale. So I have to increase the scale just a little bit. So I'm going to set it to 20 and click on import all. And I have this uh, mesh here. So just select it and drop it in the viewport. And as you can see, it's rotated. So just rotate it like this to 90 so let's create a material for this but before doing that we have to export our textures let's go back to the folder where we have our textures so let's select all of it and uh, drop it in this content browser and if you see this warning just click ok so we have all these texture maps so let's create a material for this so we have to create two materials because we have two sets of textures, one for the metal part and one for the map. So let's right click and click on this material. And rename it as map material. And to assign the texture, just double click and open this. And we are going to select our map textures and just drop them in this material editor. So we have this RGB map for our uh, albedo or base color. So just click on this uh, RGB node and connect it to the base color. And do the same thing for this normal. Connect the RGB to normal. At last we have this uh, map or uh, mask map. And it contains our uh, occlusion, roughness and metallic. So the R channel of this map is occlusion and the green channel of this map is roughness and at last the blue channel of this map is metallic. So we are going to connect them in that order. So the red goes to occlusion and green goes to roughness and then at last we have this metallic. Just connect this blue to metallic and save it. So we have this material here. So how can you uh, apply this material on this mesh? So just select this and uh, double click now you can just go here and select this material or what you can do just simply select this material and drag and drop here but as you can see that our model looks a little bit glossy and too reflective and that's because we haven't set our mask map as known rgb so what you can do is just double click on this map here and scroll down and in this texture, just disable this sRGB and you'll be fine. Just save it. So what it's going to do, it's going to invalidate that material we just created. So you have to assign that map again. So open this material and select this, then delete it. Now select this map again and drop it here and connect it again. So the R goes to ambient occlusion, green goes to the roughness and blue goes to metallic. And just save it and close this. So now you can see that our 
texture looks fine and it's not as reflective as it was before. So let's create another material for this metal part. So right click and create a material and rename it as metal material. So before assigning our texture, just open this map and uh, do the same thing here. Just disable this sRGB and save it. Now open this metal material and import your metal textures. Drop them in here. Place this albedo on the top. And uh, connect the RGB to base color, normal to normal. And the R channel of this map goes to ambient and green goes to roughness and the blue goes to metallic save it close this and uh, select this metal material and drop it here and now it looks fine to control the brightness just press ctrl l and rotate your sun like this and uh, you can go to directional light and turn down the intensity like this and to create a screenshot of this just go to this icon here and select this high res screenshot So the default size of this screenshot is going to be according to this viewport and you can multiply it by increasing this screenshot size multiplier. So if I increase it to 3 and click on this camera icon, it's going to take a screenshot. So our screenshot is done. You can find that screenshot by going to the project folder of this model. So I have this project here and in the saved folder, you'll see this screenshot and here you will find your screenshot. So that's how you can import your Maya models or any models from any software for that matter and create materials for it and uh, take out high resolution screenshots. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and if you did make sure to drop a like on this video and subscribe to the channel if you are new. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.